Romeo and Juliet is usually regarded as one of the most famous tragedies ever written. However, Shakespeare also weaves comedy through the story in a number of ways, and you should be thinking about the different ways comedy is used as you revise for Romeo and Juliet if you want to score those extra marks in your GCSE. With that in mind, let's take a look at five ways Shakespeare used comedy in Romeo and Juliet. 1. Comedy to entertain the audience Audiences like to laugh, and bawdy or rude sexual humour has a universal appeal. Mercutio uses sexual innuendo to tease Romeo, choosing vulgar, rude vocabulary and making references to fruit he says about Romeo's crush on Rosalind, that she were an open ass, thou a poprim pear. The actor playing Mercutio would certainly be using his body and facial expressions to make the most of these comic lines. The long vowel sounds of open ass and the short, jaunty or cheerful alliteration of the P in poprim pear lend themselves to comic acting and the amusement of the audience. The scene is especially amusing because of the dramatic irony. The audience knows that Romeo has headed off into the Capulet's orchard to find Juliet, so can't even hear the sexual innuendos made at his expense. 2. Comedy to highlight themes There is comedy right at the start, when the street brawl is in full swing and Lord Capulet wants to join in the fighting. Lady Capulet taunts her ageing husband, saying, A crutch, a crutch, why call you for a sword? Shakespeare uses humour here to raise one of the themes of the play, that of youth versus age. Lady Capulet is much younger than her husband, and the difference in age could be the cause of the lack of warmth between them. 3. Comedy to highlight the tragedy When Mercutio has been fatally injured in Act 3, he famously jokes, Ask for me tomorrow, and you shall find me a grave man. The use of a pun shows Mercutio's wit even as he dies. Elizabethan audiences were fascinated by wordplay or punning, and would have enjoyed this twist on the meaning of the word grave, meaning both serious and buried. The black humour here illustrates his bright intelligence and sense of wit. His mind is able to use wordplay even as his body fails him. This is black comedy as the comedy is heavily tainted with the pain of this scene. Shakespeare uses this black comedy to highlight the tragedy of Mercutio's death and that of Tybalt's. 4. Comedy to highlight human folly or foolishness At the start of the play, we meet Romeo, who's moping about Rosalind. He's suffering from unrequited love and says miserably of Rosalind, She'll not be hit with Cupid's arrow, she hath Diana's wit. The audience sees Romeo's immaturity as he sighs over Rosalind, his love based on a passion for a woman he barely knows. Romeo relies heavily on the Petrarchan language of courtly love, when a man worships a lady from afar, writing love poems to a woman he can't get close to. The Elizabethan audience would have recognised the style and have been greatly entertained by it, but Romeo's sighing and languishing is also funny to audiences 400 years later, as Shakespeare is inviting us to laugh at the human folly by showing us the self-indulgent Romeo whose hyperbolic praising of Rosalind is every cliché of a love-struck young man. 5. Comedy as a structural device Although Romeo and Juliet is billed as a tragedy, it could be argued that it is more comedy than tragedy up to Act 3. Up until Mercutio's death, Shakespeare provides us with a whole array of comic moments, from the opening of Act 1, there are sexual jokes amongst the men's servants, and there are plenty of comic episodes, such as the situational irony of the servant sent to deliver invitations. He can't read, so the Montagues end up coming to the Capulet's party. However, this is only one view. Another view is that the play is firmly a tragedy from the beginning. The prologue works as a Greek chorus in warning us that we're about to watch a tragedy in which star-crossed lovers take their life and this sense of fate cuts through all the comic moments. Even the early comedy of the manservants with their sexual humour quickly evaporates into the vicious brawl that ends with Tybalt announcing, Peace, I hate the word, as I hate hell, all Montagues and thee, revealing his dark, corrosive hatred that weaves itself through the play. Any comedy in the play is corrupted by the tragedy.
Exploring Romeo and Juliet in this way will really help you form your own ideas about the text and write about these in a convincing way. That's going to score extra marks at GCSE. To get more tips and resources for your Romeo and Juliet revision, follow the links in the description below.